of people gathering in the streets of New York tonight to pray, pray for peace and pray for an end to the violence, the death, the inhumanity happening in Israel and Gaza. Meanwhile, the NYPD stepping up its patrols ahead of what Hamas is calling a day of rage tomorrow. Good evening at 11 o'clock. I'm Shade Better and Wall. And I'm Bill Ritter. Here's the latest at this hour on the war in Israel on both sides. And we begin with breaking news because right now Gaza getting hit by bombs as Israel continues its relentless assault on Hamas. The death toll continues to rise. 1,300 dead in Israel, more than 1,500 dead in Gaza, and 423,000 people left without a home. Meanwhile, tonight, the U.S. taking action. President Biden says charter flights will begin tomorrow to rescue Americans trapped in Israel. And the U.S. and Qatar agreeing to block access to $6 billion for Iran, money that was part of a prisoner swap after it was learned that Iran was providing money to Hamas. Here at home, the NYPD now stepping up security as Hamas calls for a worldwide day of rage against Jews. But officials emphasizing tonight there has been no credible threat. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger covering that part of the story for us tonight live in Times Square. Josh? Masade and Bill, that really is the biggest point here. Police, as they frequently do in the, in the advance of an event, say there is no current specific or credible threat against the city or the surrounding area. But that doesn't mean they aren't ready for anything. And meanwhile, they are expecting protests, lots of protests across the city tomorrow, meaning if everything goes well, it'll still be a very busy day for them. Police fanned out at synagogues and other Jewish institutions tonight. And in big tourist areas, the long guns are out. In a town where the police presence is always visible, tonight it's unavoidable. We have directed the NYPD to surge additional resources to schools, houses of worship to ensure that they are safe and, they, and that our city remains a place of peace. As Israel's retaliation against Hamas leads to images like this of suffering in Gaza, Hamas is calling tomorrow a global day of rage, urging its followers to strike wherever they might be. The NYPD is ramping up its posture, canceling vacations and putting every cop in uniform and on the street. And this is out of an abundance of caution. This is finely attuned to what's happening overseas, which is how we calibrate our responses locally. Police are carefully monitoring pro-Palestinian protests to make sure they stay peaceful. Patrols in the sky will eyeball suspicious vehicles in high visibility places. And on the water, boats equipped with radiation detectors are constantly scanning and ready to respond to any specific threat. What we do out here is intelligence driven. So when the Coast Guard reaches out to us, of course, the NYPD Intelligence Bureau tells us there may be certain threats coming from certain areas or of concern, then we'll focus our attention on those areas. We want New Yorkers to feel protected. We want everybody to go about their daily lives. That's the message from the NYPD tonight with no specific or credible threats against the city. They are working hard to keep it that way, to keep the protests safe, the largest of which expected here in Times Square tomorrow afternoon, a pro-Palestinian event. We're live in Midtown.